So I recently received a very nice email from a woman in the UK. She was explaining how her young daughter was watching our channel and loved our channel and drew some inspiration and now is going out and collecting rocks of her own. And they recently got a rock tumbler. It was a very heartwarming message that she sent. I'm not going to share all of it, but they didn't ask for anything. She just sent the email showing her appreciation for the videos we make. I thought, you know, what better way to send this young lady off into her lapidary journey than to send her some rocks uh, from other parts of the world that she may not see in her backyard. So I'm going to do that today. But I thought it would also be a good opportunity to kind of show you guys how uh, when I'm tumbling rocks or getting ready to tumble rocks, what I do to prepare them. Sometimes you'll get some rocks you want to tumble and, you know, they're a little jagged, they're a little irregular. And depending on your style of tumbling, whether you want something to come out absolutely perfect and round or you want nice smooth edges, some of you may just, you, you don't care about that. You just want to see them polished and, you know, them being a little bit rough and a little bit pitted is okay. But there's different preferences out there. But I'll show you how I prep rocks. There are some things I do to get them ready to put in a rotary tumbler. So I have an assortment of rocks here. I have a couple of blue lace agates here. These are from Mexico. Uh, we're going to send that over to the UK for Alyssa is the girl's name. I have some Lake Superior agates here that I'm going to send to Alyssa. And these are an assortment of agates here from the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia. What I'm going to do is uh, some of them I'm going to be getting rid of some pitting using my Cab King, just my, my wheel grinder, just to get uh, some of these uh, pitted edges out. Uh, some of these are a little big, like this uh, Lake Superior egg. It's a little big and it's got some deep pitting. So I'm going to probably cut this in half. Some thing, one of the things I like to do is cut my agates in half. And then I have a nice window on either side and I it'll polish up really nicely. At least you'll have one nice polished surface from the tumbler. Sometimes I do that. I'll do that with this one. I'll also do it with this uh, Lake Superior agate. And, you know, here's a seam agate from Nova Scotia. You can see... Uh, it's it's got a little bit of uh, pitting going on so we'll take care of some of that probably on the trim saw now let's get started and cleaning up some of these rocks we'll look at them uh, wet after we cut them and uh, Alyssa can see what's gonna be coming her way so let's get started so the first rock I'm gonna do is a uh, Lake Superior agate and I'm just gonna cut a window on it here and just expose a nice surface that will polish This is a blue lace that I'll be cutting the edges off of to make it more square. Okay, now we're moving over to the Cab King, specifically the grinding wheel, and we are going to take the pits out of this very nice Nova Scotia Bay of Fundy agate. I'm just gonna smooth out where the pitting is and round it out a little bit. And here's what the rock looks like after we were done. You can see it's nice and round now, the pitting's gone, and it's ready for the tumbler. This is another Nova Scotia Bay of Fundy agate, and this one's severely pitted. It's got some deep ones, some crevices running into it, and I'm going to use the grinding wheel just to smooth everything out. This one really pops after prepping it and bands are showing now some color and all that pitting has gone so it's ready for the tumbler. This one probably didn't need any prep work but there is a little crevice here and I just wanted to kind of smooth this one out to see what it was because I didn't know if it was blue chalcedony or just an opal.
turned out being a nice little chalcedony with some cool little colors in there, greens and uh, some blues. This is a little agate from Scotts Bay Beach. It's got some deep crevices in it and some pitting. So this one needs to be flattened a little bit. Nice and prepped, smooth surfaces, ready for the tumbler. Okay, so here's the batch we got for Alyssa, and we cleaned up a lot of those rocks. Here's a Lake Superior agate we cut on the saw. As you can see, we windowed it, and there's some nice peach color, some banding around the edges there, some nice quartz, some nice chalcedony in there. Uh, I also included all these other Lake Superior agates, but these are already nice and round. They will don't did any, any work to, done to them. I found this uh, Lake Superior egg, which has some really nice banding in there. That's going to tumble nicely. And here's a piece of carnelian that was in my Lake Superior agate batch. Uh, just some really nice ones. These will all tumble nicely. Not much uh, preform work need to be done. So those are the Lake Superiors. Here's the blue lace. So just cut off some edges there so that uh, you wouldn't have any hard times tumbling these. Now they're nice and square and those will round out nicely. Same with this one. These are these are some high quality ones. There's some good banding in this blue lace. There's a nice... We'll get a close-up of this one. Some really nice banding in that. So these will tumble nice. And then I did some preform work on these Nova Scotia agates. There was some deep pitting in them. But uh, yeah, got them nice and rounded now, ready for the tumbler. So these will look a lot better when they come out, nice and polished. This one's a doozy. This is from the lobster hole here in Nova Scotia. And it's got some beautiful red in the center there. It's a beautiful agate. Some nice colorful banding on it. And then these ones are also Nova Scotia agates, but didn't need much uh, preform work. So uh, some nice colors in this one, some yellow jasper. And we also have a nice, a nice agate here. And the cool thing about this one is uh, it's got a big old eye right here. So I'm thinking that when you tumble this, uh, you're going to have a nice little... If I can get the focus there... You have a nice little eye agate uh, as soon as you tumble that. So it'll be a nice little eye agate in the center there. And then we have another kind of a seam jasper. So Alyssa, thank you very much for watching our channel and, and supporting our channel. And I wish you all the best on your lapidary journey and your tumbling journey. I hope you have a blast tumbling rocks. Uh, keep at the hobby. It's uh, you know it's a great hobby to be into. You learn so much and it's so rewarding. Uh, so enjoy it with your mom. I uh, hope you enjoy these rocks that I'm going to send you. If you're new to the channel, we put out videos every week. Lapidary, instructionals, educational, just entertainment, going on rock hunts. We try to do it all here on the channel. So with that, everybody, have a great week and we'll catch you in the next one.